Rayleigh is Roger's right hand man. What an introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster I Shinobi. We have episodes 395 and 396 of our One Piece watch through today. We're almost at that fat 400. Now, like I said, last episode was an insane reveal. Rayleigh, the, the, the guy who coats the ships here on Salbadi Archipelago, was Gold Roger's right hand man. And the lady that he works with said he's a hundred times stronger than Luffy and all of them. And I kind of get it now. But we also got another little tease whenever the giant said that hockey energy which i think it's kind of teased before in in prior events like i've kind of made the connection and i know i'm kind of drawing on this intro but i kind of made the connection to shanks whenever he went on whitebeard ship how his sort of like aura energy just knocked people out and i think it also teased a little bit whenever we were on duval's island and luffy kind of like scared that animal away it did like a sort of a similar type sound effect i don't know i think it's planting these little seeds for a sort of mechanic whatever hockey energy is I think it's teasing it more and more as time goes on. Without further ado, though, we're going to hop right into the episodes. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big white bell and let's get started. Is that Garp? I'd recognize that facial hair anywhere. Oh, they know he's there? <gasps> they know! The Dark King. That's such an insane nickname. This is kind of funny, though. Mm. <laughs> I love Garp so much, bro. Yeah, that seems like it'd be a big deal. Garp's handling it. Surely he'll handle it. How does he know? Oh. Well, yeah, she said he just hangs out at bars and stuff. Oh, shoot. But Garp still has a smile on his face. Two legends at once? Wait, two. Should I know who the other legend is? Legends at once. What up? Am I missing something? Is it their feud with like the emperors? Like they're sort of like butting heads? But that, that mean multiple people, whether it be Whitebeard Shanks. It's getting sorry, baby. I can feel the, I can feel a, like a sort of rumbling. The MC of the auction. He's got to have gusto. He's got to have spunk. Walking super bizarre. Oh, wait, they already said his name, Mr. Disco. Yeah. I have some great quality slaves. So what's worth more, a mermaid or Roger's ex right hand man? Would he even be an ex right hand man? Yeah, probably. Broke down. These people are so messed up, man. How much do they go for? Oh gosh. Oh, this is just this is just disastrous. That guy kind of looks like a discount black beard. I'm not gonna lie. Why is Rayleigh here, man? Number one from Troa. Long line of musicians. I feel like I should look for any foreshadowing if we're introducing a different a, a different line of people. I mean, you find Roger's right hand man in this cage. You don't know who else was in there. How did they even catch him, bro? He had to have let himself get caught, right? Byron! 480k? For the first guy? Oh, these people have to be like insanely rich. The music is so upbeat for this being a literal slave auction. <laughs> He's trying to sell him a guard dog. They are literally pushing this man's price up. I could never do auctions, bro. I would literally get mad by other people pushing the price up and then giving up. I would get like personal about it. But that's the whole point of auctions is like how far will you go for what's at stake? Ah, did they set him up? They're like plants just to push it up? Yep. Ah, this is what I'm saying. Ah, makes sense. I mean, if you're selling people, it shows how much, I guess, self-worth and morals you have to begin with next item next item next item and the boys are on their way a list. is it people he sold market prices this one average person is 500k 50 million mermaids are 70 million dude that's crazy that luffy's bounty is like several mermaids used by rich people's decoration they just leave them in tanks oh that's so sad didn't you try to sell them the thing is like luffy and them know that they're not they shouldn't act out of line or step out of line but there's no way that they can get her and save kami without making like a big deal out of it they're gonna know that's how the somebody has to know that's at the auction this seems like a big deal 
She cannot hear you, Luffy. Sorry. Oh, they caught the giant? Oh, wait. If they caught the giant, they know where it is. Not a mermaid. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Detective Usopp got down to the bottom of it, baby. How much would, like, let's say in comparison to, like, the real world, how much would, like, 50 million berries for a giant be in, like, USD? Like, in comparison. Like, a, like 100,000, maybe? I don't know. I really don't know how to compare them. Is it comparable to yen? Oh, I'm so worried about him. Is Zoro just surrounded by bounty hunters? <laughs> Brother! You really think you have a shot? Honestly, Zoro should be much higher. I'm gonna be honest. 120 mil? I don't think it should be more than Luffy since he's captain especially. And I think Luffy may be stronger than him right now. But if that's all it took? Oh my gosh. Bro didn't even have to pull his blade out. A 10 pack? What a steal! They're so slow. He knows it would be last, yeah. He's black leg. Was Zeph was red foot, right? I like the sort of, I guess it's kind of referencing. Let's go. They actually made it first. That's so dumb, bro. Calling's institution? Intuition? Wait, he doesn't actually mean crash, right? Okay, yeah, he pulled up. Oh, wait, no. Chopper one. Aw, he's so polite. Oh, there they are. He parked right next to him. Duval's the strangest ally we've had. What? Does he not know how to go up? Chopper's <laughs> <laughs> little wave. Oh, gosh. Why does it look like they're going to crash? Everybody made it. All right. Everybody gathers. It's feeling tense. <laughs> God, dude, Frankie needs to hit leg day, man. He'd be so OP with some thick thighs. Do they just let anyone in? Oh, there's got to be like a back door or something. Yeah, I was going to say, they're not going to just let him in. Luffy's not there yet. Oh, no. Oh. Not here. You didn't answer the question. They just turned a blind eye. So how did Gar find uh, how did those navy men find out about Rayleigh? oh shoot papa stepping in no don't yeah and she would just be in danger they didn't get the collar on her though this Rayleigh's hockey stopped it I mean, what else can you do she's gonna be sold i guess you could wait to see who buys her and then attack them after but if a celestial dragon buys her then you can't attack them but buy her you do not have enough money i guarantee it Discount Blackbeard! Oh, he's so scared. Oh, they actually did get a collar on her. Oh, the giant. Do they have that much money from Thriller Bark? Did they even sell all the golden stuff? Maybe they just like act like they have enough money? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, like, it's so cool they have a name for themselves. Cards to chess? Dude, this is so messed up! Dude, they're gonna get emotional. Oh, no. With all these people here? Oh, the other pirates, too? Law and kid here? I don't know, man. It's just, I feel like it's just like a storm. She could bid and just not have the money, I think. Oh, or she is actually planning on using the money. Oh, dang. What did it say? 50 mil? She wouldn't ask to pay. Yeah. And she'll pay any amount. Even if it goes to just a terrible person. Aww. They saved Hachan and now Kami. <laughs> I feel like one of them should wait outside to tell Luffy and Brooke what's going on. Oh, pamphlets? From the world government? Is this Garb's message? So few marines on these. Whitebeard's second division commander. Yeah. Oh! What? Yeah, wait, he would. Oh, shoot. Oh my God, he was, he is in prison. Oh my God, dude, if Luffy finds out. Oh no. Oh no. Luffy's gonna see it before he gets in there though. 
I see why this section on Crunchyroll is called Summit War now. That white beard is not going to be happy, brother. The rumbling of the emperors. I wonder why they want to do a public execute. I, I guess because they know that he's related to Luffy and it would like put Luffy in his place if they're able to execute Ace. Ain't no way white beard's going to let that happen, though. Yeah, Zoro is never going to make it. I guarantee you that. Zoro's probably just going to be AFK the rest of this time. Oh my gosh. I'm honestly going to be impressed if you can even find one. <laughs> you leave Brooke alone. <laughs> but I don't have a heart. I'm a skeleton. Good one, Brooke. This guy's so sick of him. <gasps> don't you dare say that about him. Yeah, a lot of them aren't, aren't there yet. No one's going to stay outside and tell them what's going on. Oh, she's 17. And then the giant's 18. And then Rayleigh's 19. What if really did that just to like troll them a little bit? Or if it is because she's just a mermaid. My goodness gracious, dude, things are heating up. I'm still kind of confused by Garb's conversation. What did he say again? Are you suggesting the Navy take on two legends at once? Oh, wait, that makes sense. Because inherently it would be Whitebeard because they're, they're scheduling a public execution for Ace. So then it would be Rayleigh and Whitebeard. And uh, I mean, Whitebeard's a legend. All right, 396, let's go. Oh, that one guy. Oh my gosh, he was really late. But I feel like this dude's so ego, he'll just max bit everything. Oh, he's so gross looking. I just can't stand him. Bro, you're riding a human being. Oh my gosh. There's just some characters that you just want to spit on, man. That guy's probably super excited to go to literally anyone else. Oh my gosh. They're not going to be able to outbid, outbid him. Oh no. Oh no. Carlos. Gosh, he's just the worst. Oh, they're like intimidated by him. Oh, I guess because he's a celestial dragon. What is this? That dog looks so crazy. Oh, they have like reserved seats too. Yeah, he probably has like infinite money. Is it Kami? Oh no, Blackbeard. The captain of a pirate ship. 17 mil bounty. Nothing to scoff at. Oh, he looks so scared. He still has his hat on and everything. This is so messed up, man. He's gonna pass out. <gasps> what? What happened? Did he bite his tongue? <gasps> He'd rather die. Oh my gosh. That's so sad. Yeah. You'll die from it. You'll bleed out. Oh, that is so sad. Is that for a life of pain and suffering? Dude, no, this is such a recipe for disaster. If Charlos does bid too much, then it's just going to be like a, a fight straight up. There's no way they have enough to outbid him. But also, the question begs why did Rayleigh let himself get captured and brought here? Like, is he just bored? There's no way he's that weak to the, where they would capture him oh they're gonna see her oh no zoro it's just 13 man i wasn't wrong he couldn't get to one he's gonna end up at the ship on accident that man had so much bloodlust oh he ran into them again <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> They've learned their lesson. Oh, they can tell him where to go. Dang, gave a good beating. No, you just don't know how to follow them. I'm, I kind of believe them, to be honest. I do believe them. Because they fear you. <laughs> that look. Oh, thank goodness, man. Zoro was literally just not going to be a part of any of this. Not this again. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> and he's gone. God, dude, I want Kid to see Luffy so bad. He said, I want to see what kind of crazy bastard that man is. And he's just greeted with the most normal looking guy. Yeah, Eric, it's Kami's turn. So presenting her before the giant and before Rayleigh. I thought they would present the most expensive last, though. I wonder if they even present Rayleigh as who he is. If they're like, Roger's right hand man. Or if they even know. There's no way they know. Wow, they have their theatrics for sure. Oh, this is so sad. Dang, they know how to tease it real good, too. Tease people's wallets. Mm. I hope she sees them, though. Oh, no. She sees them. Aw. That I, I don't want to know how much money Charlos has. And not even the fact that he has a lot of money. I feel like he would literally have them killed just for outbidding him. If they are able to. Just because apparently they do whatever they want. Dog. 10 times asking price. MSRP 10 times. Dog, they don't have nearly that much money. They have, how much did they say they have? 
200? <gasps> oh gosh. Dude, he like right off the bat too. He kind of ruined the vibes of the auction. <laughs> you have piranhas in your aquarium. Oh my gosh, how does this guy get even worse? Oh, she doesn't even know. She doesn't know how much money and who just bid it. Oh my gosh. Oh, Hachan's gonna pop off. Oh no, that plus the pamphlet outside. It's just a storm, man. Dude, who's gonna bid over 500 mil? I don't think any of these people have that much. Yeah, not even to mention they can't just grab her and run. She has the collar. Who keeps the keys? Oh no. Where's Luffy? You guys have to come up with something. You can't just like straight up run and grab her. Oh. Miniature version of the world. They're dipping. Oh no. Oh no. That's Luffy and Zoro. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god, no! No shot. Luffy! Kid got what he wanted! Oh my god! You said to run into it! <laughs> oh my god. Zoro is so out of the loop, it's insane. Oh, they see him! They see him! Let's go! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh my gosh, he's running down. Oh no, the celestial dragons. It's all out the window. Oh my gosh. Even Hachan knows this is a mistake. Luffy's straightforwardness is gonna get like everybody killed. He's gonna stop him one way or another. Oh, they know. Oh, no. I didn't even think about that. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, wait, wait. Charlo's seeing that Luffy's gonna try to take her? Oh, my gosh. You think those guys can stop Luffy? Oh, my gosh. Dog. You leave Hotshot alone, you monsters. Oh my God. They're just throwing stuff. The racism, bro. Mm -hmm. Get her, Luffy. I don't care anymore. Oh, that's that's Charlos's. <gasps> Wait, who did he shoot? Not Luffy. Hotshot. <gasps> oh. Luffy's going to just unload on this man. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Surely he's not dead. Oh, he's not moving! <gasps> oh no. Kimmy okay, just has to watch. Um, where's Luffy? Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, no. He is a celestial dragon. The repercussions. What? He knows how much worse it gets if Luffy does attack him. Oh, my God. Oh my god, Luffy's going to kill this man. Luffy's literally going to kill this man. Oh, the shots wouldn't matter. Bloodlust! Oh my god, that OST! Dog, he's going to bend you! Dog, it'll, it, I mean, it'll already be war, but it'll be war even more! Dog, that does nothing. That does not matter. If he touches him, they know. They're like the repercussions of that. He's touching <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! They're going to freak out! 
Dog, it's a good thing they already showed that entire thing with a pamphlet about the Navy wanting to publicly execute Ace because that, like, they already said that'll start a war because of Whitebeard. This, I feel like, inherently will start a war itself because there's no way that Luffy is going to let them go captured at this point. So they're going to have to fight their way through the other two Celestial Dragons. But as soon as anybody from Marie Joy finds out about this, I feel like it's going to be just absolute chaos. Like, the way they set up and everything we've seen thus far and how people see celestial dragons they're literally like untouchable beings and if you even breathe in the wrong direction near them then you go away for a long time and luffy just sent one all the way across the room that animation for that punch though was just oh my it was perfect it like it encapsulated like the pure rage he had too oh my gosh okay that was episodes 395 and 396 of our one piece watch through thing oh my things are about to pop off so hard i can't even i'm, I'm so excited if you're new to the channel drop us up and hit that big boy bell and i'll catch you in the next one base base